Hello, my loves. How are you? Hope all is well with you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. Guys, today I'm just going to go over because this these are going to be the monthly readings. I want to go over um, the astrological part of your readings for this month. Okay, May. Um, May 26th is going to be the full moon. Okay, and the, it's going to be the full moon eclipse in Sagittarius. And this is a great time um, to clear away things, you know, get rid of things, um, things that you want, things that you don't want. So to kind of change things up, you know, kind of reflect on the things that you want and the things that you don't want and get rid of the things that you don't want anymore. Okay. Jupiter is going to be leaving. Um, it's going to be moving into Pisces um, this month. So uh, the new moon, which will be on the 11th, May 11th, in most of the parts of the country, um, is going to be in Taurus. Um, and that is um, all about abundance, okay? It's a great for intention setting and bringing things to a new level when it comes to your monies. So um, make sure that you are doing some intentions this month. Um, you know, around the 11th when it has to do with money. So you can bring that um, gains with the abundance up. So you, more money can come to you, okay? Things um, to kind of work on this month would be uh, your luck, changing your luck. Um, it's a great time to change luck. It is another great time to let go of the past, Letting go of things that, uh, you know, we can't control. You know, we can't go back. We can't bring that back. So we want to change that. We want to get rid of those things from the past that no longer serve us any purpose. Um, they just bring us down. So, so try to work on that. And then also reconstructing your life. You know, reconstruct the way that you want things to run. You know, kind of do a little bit of soul searching and do, do a little bit. Great time for meditation um, this month also. So that's a little bit of things that, um, you know, we can work on astrologically wise. And, you know, remember that, that full moon, 26th, is, <clears throat> it is that eclipse in Sagittarius. So clearing things out, great, great, great time. And May 11th, uh, abundance. So great things that are coming in this month in May. So I'll stop there. We'll get on with your readings and I'll see you in a little while. Hello, Leo. I'm going to do your reading now. I um, hope you guys had a great week. My week was good. I can't believe that it is May already. It has just flown by. It is, I just, this, that last week is, I, it was the quickest week that has been in a while. So, all right, let's, I have some nice uh, meditation, the shaman meditation, the drums. If you can hear the drums in the background, um, that's what that is. And if you want, it is on YouTube. Um, beautiful music to relax to and just let things go. All right, so let's get on with your reading and see what's going on with you guys. Um, so this is going to be for May of 2021. All right, angels, guides, and spirits. Give me some cards for my Leos, please. All right. more cards. One more. There it is. All right, let's see what's going on with you guys. First cards that I read are your inner influence cards. These are the cards that are closest to you or the cards that are here and now. I have the Jack of Spades. 
This is the shepherd, and this is an intense love of life and a strong feeling towards others. Um, so the people that are close to you, you have that strong feeling of love towards them and other people. And you also have that intense love of life. You enjoy life. Um, you love life. Okay. And then I have the Ace of Hearts. This is the Fox. And this is a... Uh, a distrust. So there might be an acquaintance or somebody that you don't know that well. You know, you've kind of met this person, but they're a very distrusting person. So if you know who this person is, get rid of this person. Um, they want to betray you in some way or they will betray you in some way. So be on the lookout for this person. King of Clubs. This is the bear. This is success. It's a nurturing, loving success, a caring success that will be coming into you. That's awesome. The Eight of Diamonds. This is the broken glass. Um, this foretells um, that, you, you know, you're not going to be as lucky as you once were in gambling, the lotto, um, putting your names in drawings. So that luck is not going to be as prevalent as it once was. So, um, you know, don't gamble. Don't, you know, don't play the lotto. You know, it's just, it, it's not going to be lucky for you. The ace of clubs is the road. Okay. You feel as if you had a misfortune of some sort. Um, that, uh, you wish you would have went down another path in life, but you have to realize that the path that you are on now is the path that you should be on. This is your learning path. Before we come down here on earth, we we choose a path to go down, a one that we need to work on, one that we need to learn from. So the path that we are on now is the path that we should be on, okay? We think of things as a misadventure, but you don't know what would have happened if you chose that path. It probably wouldn't have worked out in the first place, okay? So we can't dwell on that. We have to look at every person and every situation that comes into our life is a learning experience. There is something that we should be learning from every person that we have met and every situation and every, you know, thing that has gone on in our life. We need to learn from that. Okay. The nine of spades. This is rugged health. You are going to have rugged health and true beauty. Beauty is within you. You know, you, you're a very beautiful person. The next card I have is the coffin. And this foretells an illness um, that somebody had had. Um, and for some reason, they lost their home because of this illness. Um, I usually think of, you know, like um, being put into a nursing home or uh, maybe an old aged home of some sort or maybe in the hospital. Um, and because of that, they had lost their property because of that. Well, if you know who this person is, contact this person because there's something important that they need to say to you or something important that needs to be said. Um, if you, this person has passed already, then look for signs um, coming in. Uh, because there's something that they want to tell you. You know, there's little signs that can be coming in to you. Maybe a butterfly flying by or, you know, something along that lines. But just look for those little signs because there's that, those signs are from them and they want to tell you something. King of Spades is the bride. And this ensures if you are single, you will meet the person that will fulfill your highest hopes. They are the person you've been longing for, dreaming for, and wanting. And this is going to be a great marriage. If you are already married, you may have a little bit of turbulence in your marriage. Or it may be a little rocky. The next card I have is the Ten of Hearts. And this is the bouquet of flowers. And this indicates a long and a happy life. Um, usually with children. Um, so that is great and, uh, extraordinary honors and fame are coming. So that is great. So those are your inner cards. So let's read your outer cards. These are the cards that are out there waiting to come into you. So they're sitting out there and they're waiting to come in. 
So I have the 10 of clubs and this is the tower card. Okay. And this um, denotes that you might come down with um, a cold, a sickness. Um, there may be um, some kind of a cold that may be coming on. So make sure you take your echinacea and uh, airborne, you know, whatever you do to build your immune system up, you know, kind of watch out for that this month, you know, so that you don't get sick. And the next card I have is the three of diamonds, and this is the money safe. And this is directly above you. So um, your money is going to stay stable. It's not going to fluctuate much. So your money situation is going to be flexible. It's going to be about the same as it has been. The ace of spades. This is the rap ears, and this isn't a warning against an assault or a threat. It's going to be coming sooner or later. Okay. So um, usually it happens um, when somebody maybe um, driving down the road and they kind of cut you off a little bit. It's kind of things along that nature. So if you are aware of it, you could stop it before it happens. So be on the lookout for that against some kind of a threat or an assault that may be coming up. I have the uh, Eight of Hearts. This is the cat. So there's going to be some flattery this month um, that's going to be going on. A little bit of flattery, either on your part or on somebody else's. I have the King of Hearts. This is the hand in hand. And um, this is a, a love from a friend. So there is a friend that you have now that may get closer then um, it may turn into more than just a friendship. It may turn into a love affair if you are single. If you are married, you're married to your best friend. The Jack of Diamonds. This is the rider. Good news is coming your way and it's going to be coming in fast. Two of Clubs. This is the railroad. And this is a journey, a long journey that you've been going on. Um, it's been going on for quite some time. And this journey that you have been going down or this thing that has been happening for quite some time, it's going to end. Um, it, this is a start of a new beginning. So new things are going to start to come in your way. And that is awesome. Um, it is a new journey. The old stuff is going away. So new things are going to start. New opportunities are going to start to come to you. So that is your main reading. Leo's. All right, so let's talk to the universe. Universe, give me some cards um, to clarify that reading I just did for my Leo's or to add to that reading that I just did, please. Please and thank you. One more. Great cards. We have the dragonfly. We have lake, dream time, and shaman. Okay, so be still. Um, take some time to meditate. Take some time to create your dreams. You know, um, think about the things that you really want to create in your life and make them happen. You know, sit still, meditate on those dreams and those creations that you want to create. You're going to emerge afterwards. You know, everything's going to emerge. Everything's going to open up and it's going to be beautiful. They want you to look into some ancient healing. Um, look into the way the shamans do things. Look into some ancient healing wisdom. Um, you know, meditation is a big one. Um, crystals, candles, um, incense, you know, anything along that line, herbs, you know, look into those oils, essential oils, things along that nature. Look into some different ways of healing things. Um, you know, sometimes I get, I get terrible migraines and sometimes I use peppermint oil and I rub it wherever it hurts 
you know, and that's my first line of defense when I get a headache um, instead of taking a pill. Um, aches and pains, you can use, you know, use that also. And it just, it, it, it feels so good and it does work. So if you are in, you know, if you get migraines, try, try it. You know, there's so many things that are on the internet you can look up, you know, if you have a sore tooth or, you know, things like that. Um, look into some of that stuff. Um, that's what they're telling you to do. All right. So let's talk to spirit. Spirit, give me a uh, card that Leo's need to hear for the month of May, please. A card that Leo's need to hear for the month of May. Dear you, do you feel like you need to do all of the work and fix everything for everyone? Or you might have no value. Maybe you think you need to control everything or else nothing will get done. Be healed, be completed, etc. You may think you need to conform to what others expect of you or choose a course of action to manipulate an outcome. But we don't think that would be a good choice. How about this? Even if it makes you temporarily uncomfortable, do something different. Set that boundary. Delegate responsibility to another. Ask for your needs to be met. And when faced with an impossible situation or sticky, enmeshed relationships, repeat this mantra, I can't. I didn't cause it, I can't control it, and it's not my job to cure it. Then carry on, feels good, doesn't it? The best part of everything just seems to work beautifully and honestly in the end. Love you so, so much. Don't think that you guys can do everything. Um, I know sometimes it's hard to, especially as a mother, I wanted to do everything. You know, I wanted to make sure that my kids were, you know, had their homework done and the baths and the things. And, but I wouldn't let anybody else help. You know, no, you got to let other people help also. Because if not, in, in the end, you go crazy. Thinking that you have to do everything for everybody and your needs can't be met. Well, now that my kids are grown and they're out of my house... I have more freedom for me. And I wish that back then I would have delegated some responsibilities so that I could have had that 10 minutes of peace and quiet and relaxation. It probably would have been a lot better. But we all learn from our mistakes, right? But I do that now. And you guys have to do that also so that you guys don't get overwhelmed and, you know, ah, you know, like me, I get overwhelmed and I hold it in for so long. And then all of a sudden it's like, okay, I just blow. And everybody around me does not want to be around. <laughs> you know, it's like, okay, this is blown. We're out of here. You know, that's, that's the way it happens. So, all right. Since this month, month is about abundance, I'm going to read from the notes from the universe on abundance for you guys. I'm going to pull one card for you guys and see what um, the abundance, you know, what, what it is you can look at for abundance. So we're going to pull one card. So universe, give me one card for my Leos on abundance, please. One card on abundance. Here's the front of your card. This is gorgeous. Oh, I could just sit down next to that and just read a book. Or just listen to the water just fall and listen to it trickle down. And, ah, oh, just gorgeous. It's kind of strange. But when you know exactly what you want to create, first you have to define it in terms of the end result. Second, you have to physically move towards it. And finally, you must let go of how you think it will actually show up. At which point, the thing you want starts coming to you. 
on its own terms from a direction completely unexpected. Not unlike a cat, the universe, right? So the first thing that we have to do, if we want to create something, first thing that we have to do is we have to define it, right? We have to put it in terms that we know, okay? What is that end result going to be? You know, second, we have to physically move towards it. So you have to move towards your, your creation, you know, move towards it. And then you have to let it go. Let it go and know that it's going to be coming. But it's not going to be coming the way that we think it's going to come. Okay, it will come, but not the way that we think. It's going to come in unexpected ways. Okay, so and then it's going to start coming to you. So that's beautiful, and that is so true. All right, so one last card for you guys, and this is your reflection card. So give me a re reflection card for the month of May for my Leos, please. A reflection card. Everything I touch is a success. Everything I touch is a success. I now establish a new awareness of success. I know I can be as successful as I make up my mind to be. I move into the winning circle. Golden opportunities are everywhere for me. Prosperity of every kind is drawn to me. Oh, that's beautiful. So success, it's, it's there, right? New awareness of success is there. Success as you make your mind up to, you can be as successful as you think you can be. You just have to think it. You know, you're in that winning circle. The opportunities are everywhere. Prosperity of every kind is drawn to you. Everything I touch is a success everything. I love you guys. I hope this helps. Um, remember that this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with all of you. So be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising readings also. I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful and an absolutely beautiful May. And I will see you for the weekly uh, reading in a week. I love you guys.